Yo, what is going on guys, Crypto Kid, coming at you again with another video, and guys, today we're going to be talking about Coinbase on how they're exploring support for 18 new digital assets, obviously very exciting if you are a Coinbase user looking to get into different coins, such as myself, guys, I'm sorry I haven't posted in a few days, went on a little vacation, decided to take some time off, but we're back, rejuvenated, ready to pump out some content for you guys today make sure you hit subscribe make sure you're downloading the brave browser in the description let's get right into it coinbase has announced that the exchange is exploring support for 18 new digital assets including v chain which a lot of us especially myself really love synthetics and digibyte we got a cool little picture there so the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the U.S. is considering offering support for a variety of new digital assets. According to a June 10th blog post from Coinbase, the exchange is now exploring support for Aave, Aragon, Airweave, Bancor, Compound Coin, Digibyte, Horizon, Live Peer, New Cipher, New Mayor I don't know how to pronounce that one, Keep Network, Original Protocol, Ren, Render Network, Sciacoin, Scale Network, Synthetics, and VeChain. However, Coinbase is not considering adding Sia funds. So guys, a lot of these are kind of no-name coins that are going to get pumped to oblivion once they join Coinbase because their market caps are probably so extremely low. But coins like Digibyte and coins like... Let's see, synthetics that we all kind of know about, and especially VeChain. It's going to be pretty exciting to see what happens with those that they now have a, a reach with a broader audience. Uh, so Coinbase did not give a timeline for listing these assets. The blog said the process required significant technical and compliance review in addition to some regulatory approval. And they quote, we will add new assets on a jurisdiction by jurisdiction basis subject to applicable review and authorizations. Our customers can expect Coinbase to make future similar announcements as we continue to explore the addition of numerous assets across the platform. Coinbase Custody, the international institutional cryptocurrency holdings arm of the exchange, appears to have accidentally announced stablecoin Tether would be part of the token expansion in a tweet earlier today, where the announcement referring USDT on Coinbase has since been deleted. So good for token prices. When Coinbase adds supports for new digital assets, bullish behavior can often follow. And guys, I'd honestly argue that it always follows. Cointelegraph reported that when the exchange announced it would be adding Stellar in March 2019, the token gained about 5.66% on the day. Much of MakerDAO's recent doubling in price has been attributed to it being added to Coinbase as well. Shortly after Coinbase announced an announcement went live, the price of VET shot up from 0.0081 to 0.0091, an increase of 12.34%. Digibyte also surged at the end of the day, rising above two cents for the first time in weeks. So guys, if you are on an exchange um, where you can already buy these coins, I would, this is not financial advice, but personally, if I was in your situation, I would actually buy those coins now and then just kind of hold on for them to be added to Coinbase and then be able to take some, take some profit there or just keep holding on. Uh, still calls to delete Coinbase. So unfortunately, some members of the crypto community remain upset with Coinbase and the hashtag delete Coinbase is trending on Twitter. They dropped the ball with the last outage. This may be too little too late, said Reddit user. It's CBay, CBJ. It's kind of a random quote, but okay. Recent outages during Bitcoin BTC price surges coupled with the news Coinbase may sell its blockchain intelligence arm to the International Revenue Service, IRS, and the Drug Enforcement Agency, DEA, has prompted massive withdrawals from the platform. On June 7th, users of the exchange withdrew 22,000 more Bitcoin than they deposited, a difference of 214 million dollars. So the CEO, Alex Mashinsky, even chimed in saying the platform had received more than 70 million in deposits last week as users shifted funds from Coinbase. So guys, this is obviously a very interesting article. We got a little from both sides. Coinbase will be adding new coins, but there's also a lot of people going against Coinbase. Me personally, I think that Coinbase is probably working at it right now to fix these issues. I think that they're obviously reading articles like this and seeing, holy smokes, like, it, they're already saying too little too late all right we gotta we gotta change the game we got to um kind of improve and, and look at our mistakes and, and get better from it and i do think that coinbase is really going to ramp up their speeds make sure that they don't end up shutting down again um and i think that another one or two times would kind of be the nail in the coffin for coinbase but i do think that they're just they have such a such a massive amount of money coming in that they are going to be putting a ton of money towards ramping up their technology and making sure outages like this don't happen again. I really don't think Coinbase is going anywhere, guys. I think that they're smart enough to fix this issue. They're probably working on it as we speak. 
So guys, obviously very interesting. I'd love to be able to invest in VeChain and Digibyte, maybe even Synthetics, uh, and a couple of those other low market cap coins other than my favorite, which is Orchid right now already on Coinbase. But yeah, guys, that's basically going to do this one, guys. Let me know if you like this style of video where I talk about other news rather than just like price predictions and that sort of thing. But yeah, it's basically going to do for this one, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.